Good morning. It's Thursday, January 29th, and it's an odd day. Our first announcement. Any student wishing to attend the Concord Regional Vocational Center during the 1998-99 to school year should have their application into guidance no later than Monday, Feb February 2nd. There will be a very important interact meeting on Friday, January 30th, during activity period, to discuss winter or spring projects. Please attend in room 2311. All right, there's going to be a so sophomore class uh, raffle, and they're going to be raffling tickets for the February 28th Boston Bruins versus Pittsburgh Penguins game at 3 p.m. There's going to be great seats, two rows off the ice at the Fleet Center. And if you're interested, see Courtney Scala, Katie Phelps, or the sophomore class, of, uh, class advisors. Attention, all drivers. It's time to raffle off parking spots for the second semester. The first five spots will be raffled off next week, and they will be sold at lunchtime at the beginning on Monday, February 2nd. Tickets will be a dollar or six for five dollars. All right, anyone with third, fourth, seventh, or eighth period free and is looking for a class to add to his or her schedule, please stop by room 1208 today or tomorrow to talk to Todd Johnson about the possibilities. This class would give you half a credit in computer-aided design. Attention all seniors, a $100 payment for Florida class trip is due no later than February 3rd. Please give checks to Mrs. Graves or Mrs. Brown. All right, students are asked not to loiter in the hallways during lunch periods. You should stay in the um, areas that have been designated as good places to stay, like the library and cafeteria and student lounge. Just anywhere but the hallways. There's a mandatory meeting for all centers Thursday, January 29th, which is today at 7.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. It will last approximately 45 minutes. Plan to be there. For more information, see Allison Boyd. There will be a mandatory domestic exchange meeting on Friday, January 30th at 7 a.m. in the cafeteria. Attention all students with third and fourth period free time. Please remember you will need to report in the cafeteria at the beginning of the period for attendance. This is extremely important. Failure to do so will result in an absence. The Bow High School Domestic Exchange is holding an art auction on Friday, February 6, 1998 at 7 p.m. in the high school. Be there. That's it for announcements. Have a good day. No, it's not. Wait. The first annual BHS Performing Arts production will be on Saturday, January 31st at 7, 7 in the BHS Auditorium. The cost is $5 per person. Tickets are going to be available at the door or through any member of the BHS dance troupe. I think we're done now. Any last ones? No. All right. Thanks. See you. Have a nice day. Hi, today is January 30th. It's Kristen Miller's birthday. This is Katie and Heather and I'm Jenny and these are the morning announcements. Okay. The sophomore class is raffling off <laughs> tickets to a Boston Bruins game versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. The game will be on Saturday, February 28th at 3 p.m. The t seats are two rows off the ice at the Fleet Center, so if you have any questions, you can see me, Courtney Scala, or Mrs. Smith. Buy some tickets. <laughs> All members of the Women's Issues Group are reminded to attend an important meeting this morning during activity period. There will be an interact meeting today during activity period in room 2305. We will be discussing plans for a spring fair. Please come. If any students have any fun pictures of their friends or themselves that they want to be published in the Bohai yearbook, give them to Ms. Knudsen by Wednesday. If you want your pictures back, put your names on them. To anyone with 3rd, 4th, 7th, and 8th period free and is looking for a class for his or her schedule, please stop by room 1208 <coughs> today and talk to Todd Johnson about some possibilities. This class will offer a half credit in computer-aided design. The following individuals need to talk to Phil about the outing club ski trip. You need to pay your money. 
Ashley Carrier, Robin Hodgkins, Jeff Lefebvre, Pierre Orcutt, Sarah Silberg, and Randy Welp. Please pay. If anyone is interested in purchasing school lunch today, it <coughs> consists of <coughs> an Italian submarine, lettuce and tomatoes, oven fries, <laughs> fruit mix, <coughs> and chocolate, chocolate cake. cake. <laughs> There will be a mandatory Senate meeting Monday during the 15-minute break in room 1307. This is very important, so please attend. Thank you. The girls' basketball teams have their last game tonight at home at versus Winnescom, and you have to go. It's JV's at 6 and Varsity's at 7.30, so please come watch and support your team. Thank you. That right there concludes the morning announcements. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. America. Uh, hi guys, today is February 2nd. Jim. Oh yeah, it's Groundhog Day! Happy Groundhog Day! Uh, and this is Lindsay, she's from Georgia. And here are the morning announcements. Students and staff, please help welcome our visitors from Thomasville, Georgia, uh, this afternoon in the cafeteria. Um, there will be a mandatory Senate meeting Monday during the 15 minute break in room 1307. This is very important, so um, y'all please attend. Uh, Ms. Frigi would like to remind first semester art students to make sure they pick up any leftover artwork from the art room before Friday, February 6th. If any student has fun pictures of their friends, please give the photos to Ms. Knudsen by Wednesday. These photos will be considered for publication in the first Bow High Yearbook. If you want your picture back, please put your name on it. Anyone wishing to glaze their pottery finals from first semester must do so by Friday, February 6th. The sophomore class is raffling tickets for the February 28th, Saturday at 3 p.m. for the Boston's Bruins versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. They're great seats. They're two rows off the ice. So see, please see Courtney Skella, Krista Phelps, or the sophomore advisor. Uh, tomorrow, our guests are the winners of the Boston Globe Scholastic Art Awards, so don't miss the show. Nope. All right. uh, and also, the Interact Club is doing a whole bunch of wacky community service projects now. Uh, we're trying to, with the National Honor, Soci National Honor Society, organize a spring fair uh, in May or April. It would be sort of like Winterfest, but in the spring. Uh, also, we're helping the Rotary Club with the February BMS basketball tournament, this vacation. And we're also helping out at the Winterfest this Saturday. Uh, if you're interested in any three of these projects, especially the um, spring fair, because we need a lot of help with that. Uh, get in touch with Allie Boyd, Louis Blanchett, Nate Davis, that would be me, uh, or Sarah Santi. And this all goes toward your valuable community service hours. And uh, I don't know what the lunch is today, but it uh, probably won't kill you. So that's <laughs> it. <laughs>
morning, and welcome to the February 3rd, 1998 edition of the BHS Morning Report. I'm Johnny Hollis. And I'm Allison Boyd. Interact Club has some amazing new spring projects developing in the next few months. Next weekend is uh, Bow Rotary's Winter Fest, and the following week is the February Vacation, where you can help out at the Bow Memorial School Christmas Tournament. And also, this coming spring, Interact Club, along with Rotary, NHS, and the Senate, is going to put on the first ever spring fair with music, a road race, and fun games, and picnic for the community. If you would like to help, please contact Interact members Allison Boyd, Hillary Blanchett, Nate Davis, or Sarah Santi. And although this shouldn't be an incentive, community service hours would be awarded. Everyone should congratulate the Bow High School girls and boys basketball teams. They both had impressive victories over Newfound Regional High School last night. <laughs> the Concord Area Invitational Cross Country Ski Meet is this afternoon in Concord. All should attend and support our Bow High School Cross Country Skiers. Send a Valentine wish. Carnations are on sale at lunch for $1. They will be delivered Friday, February 13th on period 4. Hurry, supplies are limited. This is from a junior class, the Junior Class Council. There will be assemblies this Thursday, February 5th. Each class has a different time. Freshmen will go from 7.30 to 8.15, sophomores 8.20 to 9.05, and juniors and seniors will meet from 9.10 to 9.55. In advisory and reading period today, Students will be getting a program of studies and course registration sheet for next year. Today's lunch. We have mozzarella sticks and salsa, potato skins with sour cream, pretzel, kernel corn, and applesauce, along with the normal pizza, french fry salad, and other great stuff. Johnny? <laughs> Don't forget to buy your sophomore class raffling tickets. February 28th, Saturday, 3 p.m., Boston Bruins versus the Pittsburgh Penguins, and they're a great seats, so they're two off, rows off the ice at the Fleet Center. So don't forget to see Courtney Skella or Kai Props or any other sophomore advisor. If any student has fun pictures of their friends, please give the photos to Mrs. Newsom by Wednesday. These photos will be considered for publication in the first Bow High yearbook. If you want your picture back, please write your name on it. To anyone who is interested in working backstage or tech, for the upcoming drama festival, there will be a brief meeting after school this Thursday, uh, the 5th, in the auditorium. Mrs. Freegi would like to remind first semester art students to make sure that they pick up any leftover artwork from the art room before Friday, February 6th. Anyone wishing to glaze their pottery finals from first semester must do so by Friday, February the 6th. And now I'd like to present our special guest, Mr. Edwards. Good morning, everybody. It's my pleasure to be here this morning to make some awards. We're very honored to have some very talented artists in our school. And each year, the Boston Globe honors artists throughout New England with the Boston Globe Scholastic Art Awards. These awards are very prestigious, and it's really a great accomplishment to win one of them. The artwork that the students who have been honored by the Boston Globe has produced will be in a show that's at Notre Dame College running through February 20th. And there will be an art award ceremony for these students this Saturday at Notre Dame College at noontime. The students from Bow High School that have won these awards, first to my left, Matt Morin, who won honorable mention. Matt. Also, uh, Nicole Cody Burke, who won a silver key for her photography. Uh, we're going to go in order of the awards. Mo Eric Moses, who won a silver key. Paul Oppel, who won a silver key. And Whitney Bean, who won a gold key award. Once again, we'd like to congratulate all these students for their hard work. And uh, one last thing. The Concord Area Invitational Cross Country Ski Meet is here at Bow High School this afternoon. So we'd like to see everyone go out and cheer on the Bow High School Cross Country Ski Team for their first invitational race. Thank you. Thank y'all. And y'all have a nice day now.
Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Katie, and today is <laughs> Wednesday, February 4th. Okay, first announcement. All of Miss Angwin's first semester jewelry students should come to pick up their displays this week. Send a Valentine wish. The junior class is selling carnations for $1 during lunch. They will be delivered Friday, February 13th, period 4. Hurry up. Supplies are limited. <laughs> To anyone who is interested in working backstage or on tech for the upcoming drama festival, there will be a brief meeting after school this Thursday, February 5th, in the auditorium. Miss Power's last semester creative writing class should go to room 2307 today during extra help period. There will be a brief meeting about possible field trip. Attention all seniors! Any senior who wishes to put a message in the yearbook needs to have their form turned in by Friday. Please see Katrina Vicunas, Amy St. Jacques, or Miss Nudson for more information. The next driver's education class will begin Monday, March 2nd. Classes will be held on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Applications are available in the front office. Deadline for registration is Friday, February 20th. Miss Lazat needs library helpers, first and second period. Please see her for details. Community service hours will be available. Math team members, please meet in room 2307 during the activity period on Friday. Our next meet is Wednesday, February 11th. That's it. Hey, today is Thursday, February 5th. I'm Steph. I'm Beth. <laughs> I'm Kinsey. And I'm Rebecca. And I'm Allison Boyd. <laughs> Interact Club has some great new spring projects developing in the next few months, which include helping Bow Rotary in, their, in both their annual Winterfest this Saturday, February 7th, or the BMS Basketball Tournament, where you could help RAS sell concessions or work tickets at the door. Or also, you could help the Interact Club um, start their first ever spring fling with the help of NHS, Senate, and the Rotary. If you are interested in any of these projects, please contact any Interact member, Allison Boyd, Nate Davis, Sarah Santi, or Hillary Blanchett. Thank you. <laughs> to anyone who is interested in working backstage or on tech for the upcoming drama festival, there will be a brief meeting after school today in the auditorium. Math team members, please meet Friday in room 2307 during activity period. Our next meet is Wednesday, February 11th. The next driver education class will begin on Monday, March 2nd. Classes will be held Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Applications are available in the front office. The deadline for registration is Friday, February 20th. Send a Valentine wish. Carnations are on sale at lunch for a dollar. They will be delivered Friday, February 13th, period 4. Hurry, supplies are limited. The following people need to go see Phil about our trip to Sunday River. Robin Hodgkins, Jeff LaFave, Randy Weld, and Brendan Yout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any seniors who wish to put a message in the yearbook need to go see, oh, need to have their forms turned in on Friday. Please see Katrina Vicunas, Amy St. Jocks, or Miss Newson for more information. Miss Lazat needs library helps for first and second period. <coughs> Please see her for details and community service hours are available. Miss Powers' last semester creative writing class should meet in room 2307 today during extra help period for a brief meeting about a possible upcoming field trip. All of Miss Angwin's first semester jewelry students should come pick up their displays this week. And for today's lunch, it's pepperoni pizza, garden salad, mandarin, oranges, <laughs> raspberry, and Danish. <laughs> mm.
That's it. <laughs> so, bye. 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 Driver's education class will begin on Monday, March 2nd. Classes will be held Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Applications are available in the front office. The deadline for registration is Friday, February the 20th. Um, all of Mrs. Angwin's first semester jewelry students, um, has, they should come in and pick up their displays today because today's the last day that you've had a chance to do it all week. And um, there's a Winterfest tomorrow morning on the 7th and girls varsity and basketball uh, girls varsity and JV basketball at Co Brown games tomorrow night it's going to be a really good game so be there attention junior and senior students who had Miss Davis for their official best teacher last semester please return your lock to Miss Davis if you are no longer taking a best class um, for lunch today there's nacho nachos and cheese with salsa and tossed salad apple chocolate chip cookie too for dessert <laughs> would you like to send a valentine wish carnations are on sale at lunch for one dollar they will be delivered friday february the 13th during the fourth period hurry supplies are limited and attention all seniors any senior who wishes to put a, me a message in the yearbook needs to have their form turned in by friday please see katrina vicunas amy st jocks or miss knudsen for more information and now to Mr. Kaufman for 60 Second Sports. Good morning, everyone. And this week in Bow Sports, we have a huge basketball game. The girls go to Cole Brown Saturday night in the rematch. And everyone, please be there. 7.30, we want to pack the Cole Brown gym. Also, the boys' basketball team plays their final home game Monday night. And we've had some great crowds for boys' game. Let's keep it up. Let's honor our boys at their last game against Raymond Monday night. Skiing, we have the state championships in Alpine for girls on Tuesday, for boys on Thursday. And cross country, we have the cross country championships in Vermont on Wednesday. Now we want to go to our athletes of the week, and we cite three athletes for our last three weeks. First of all, three weeks ago, John Wells, a senior here, is our athlete of the week. In a huge win over Franklin, John had 19 points, 8 rebounds, 8 blocks, and the game winning shot. Also honored by the Concord Monitors, the Athlete of the Week. Congratulations, John. Great season. Moving to the next week, we go to cross-country skiing with Lauren Manolis, a rookie like most of our cross-country skiers, placed sixth in the New Hampshire Series cross-country race up in North Conway. Six out of approximately 100 racers in that race. Great job, Lauren. Last week, we go to a skier, Andrew Waples. Giant slalom, first two bow races ever. Andrew finished ninth in a real great field with some of the strongest competition in the state and came back with a 14th place finish in the following ways. Congratulations to all our athletes and these three in particular. That's 60 Seconds Sports. Steph, back to you. Well, that's it for Bow High School News. Have a great day. That's it, guys. You guys can leave. No, you can't leave. You gotta make sure it's well. That can Good music, man.
Good morning. Good morning, oh sleepy heads. Two words for you. Wake up! Um, the first announcement is, anyone interested in being on the prom committee should attend the meeting on February 11th at 7 p.m. Meet in the front entrance of BHS. Come make your prom the best one BHS has ever had. Well, it'll be that way anyways. This will be the only one that BHS has ever had. On the subject of dances, there will be a dance committee meeting for sophomores next Wednesday at 7 a.m. in the cafeteria, you know, the place where you eat lunch. We will discuss our plans for the next dance. Please come if you want to help. And please, help. And here's one on a drama note. While we're talking about musical, or talking about stuff, the music, music, real, that stuff, music to do with it, auditions for, BH, for the BHS as first musical, Grace, please don't, please don't slip on stage. We don't want any injuries. The editions are March 2nd and 3rd at 3 p.m. in the auditorium. By the way, that's the Monday and Tuesday after vacation. Any BHS student can audition. Repeat, that's any BS, BHS student can audition. Seems power for more info. Ms. Shubash is looking for a male and a female student to participate in the fashion show. Everything from gowns, tux, and flowers have been donated. If you wish to be interested, please let Ms. Shubash know ASAP. Our in club members, I know this sounds repetitive, but if you're going on a ski trip, you must attend Friday's meeting during activity period. If you need any more info, see Phil Hackman. Mrs. Albert is looking for student volunteers to work in the school store during periods 1, 2, and 8. Volunteers receive community service hours for this. The school store is now selling veggie sticks with French dips starting today. Actually, it started yesterday. The store now, the, also the store now sells poaches stamps, so you can send anything, including someone you don't really like, out of town. If you want to send a Valentine wish, um, carnations are on sale for at lunch at for a buck. They will be delivered Friday, February thirteenth, period four. Hurry, hurry, because supplies are limited. And that's it for the morning announcements. And I rec and by the way, my name is Jason Hopman Hopkins, and I want to thank our crank tech staff, Mr. Jakes and Miss um, Ford, right? Ugh, never mind. Good morning, everyone. I'm going. Bye. sink to the bottom with you I wanna sink to the bottom with you The ocean is big and blue I just Good morning and welcome to Bo. Uh, it's Friday the 13th, a uh, scary day right before Valentine's Day and here are the announcements. There will be a domestic exchange meeting on today during activity period. We'll meet in the calf. All right. During activity period this Friday, which is today, there will be a meeting for Interact, Senate, and NHS combined in room 2303. This is a mandatory meeting. We will be discussing important information about the spring flying. Everyone is welcome to attend, even if you are not currently a member of one of these clubs. Spring flying. The School to Career Office will be hosting a Valentine's Open House today to welcome Mrs. Marsha Miller. Bo's new, <laughs> Bo's new work based learning coordinator, please stop by room 2308 for some Valentine treats. 
during activity periods. And the faculty email will be down until next Tuesday. And please don't bug Mr. Jakes because he's aware of the problem. So just keep that in mind. Your turn. Oh. You got oh yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, Bob. And this is a reminder that the women's issue group will be meeting today during the activity period. And be there. For lunch today, we have chicken parmesan with with spaghetti and Italian bread and fresh fruit on a garlic sa garden salad. And a cream puff. Cream puff. I'm John. This is Colleen. Thank yeah. you. Have a nice day. Bye. I wanna sink to the bottom with you. I wanna sink to the bottom with you. The ocean is big and blue. Hi, welcome to Morning Announcements. This is Jill, that's Jordan, that's Dupree, and that's Carrie. Um, the Bow Parents of Performing Arts Students Organization now makes available scholarships for grades 9 to 11. Scholarship awards are available for a summer opportunity in the performing arts, such as music lessons or performing arts camp. This scholarship award is $100 each. For a graduating senior going into a college program of performing arts, there is a $500 scholarship. Applications available from Mrs. Stebbins, Ms. Power, Mrs. Dare, and also in the guidance office. Application deadline is April 1st. Attention hockey fans, there are only a few more days left of the Boston Bruins hockey tickets raffle. Hurry and buy a ticket for your chance to win two great seats for the February 28th game. We'll draw the winner on Friday, so hurry up and talk to a sophomore about buying a ticket. Thanks and good luck. Applications for the Bow Rotary Scholarship Fund are currently available at the guidance office. Any student accepted at the t uh, accepted at an int <laughs> accepted at an institution of higher learning will be eligible for the scholarship. Please stop by the guidance office for an application today. Last, all right. This is the last call to pick up any artwork left in the art room from last semester. Please pick up by Friday, or Mrs. Freeju is going to file them in the circular file, meaning she's going to get rid of them. Thank you. Reminder, all models for the fashion show March 5th need to be present for the rehearsal Wednesday, Friday, and next Wednesday during extra help and activity periods. Also, all male models need to go to Mr. Tux to get fitted for a tuxedo. Female models need to come by Ms. Shubash's room during lunch today. Thanks. Audition for BHS's first musical, Grease, are March 2nd and 3rd at 3 p.m. in the auditorium. That's the Monday and Tuesday after vacation. Any BHS student can audition. See Mrs. Power for more info. There will be a dance committee meeting for the sophomores next Wednesday at 7 a.m. in the cafeteria. We will discuss our plans for the next dance. Please come if you want to help. Okay, today for lunch we have beef stew, bagel with topping, pineapple tidbits, and a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Good morning. It's Thursday, February 19th. We're counting down two Good more days. Good morning. I'm Miss Freegie and this is Mr. Kaufman. We have a couple of announcements today. First of all, I would like to tell all art students from last semester, please come to the art room and pick up your work. If I had it for display, it needs to be picked up. And if you left it there just for safekeeping, you need to come back and get it. You've got until tomorrow to do that. Thank you. Big news, playoff fever strikes Bow High School tonight. Our girls basketball team plays Conan High School of Jaffrey. It's an NHIA playoff game, the tournament, that's what we all play for, and we need your support. 
Be there, everybody. Mrs. Freegi, are you coming? I'll be there. Oh, great. With bells on. Wouldn't miss it. Super. Conan, they're the Orioles. They're the birds. They're another bird from Jaffrey. We want to send them home packing. Yes. We want them finished. We got a very exciting team. Anyone that's come to our games realizes it. Be there. A little bit of bad news. Since it's a tournament put on by the New Hampshire Interscholastic Athletic Association, student prices are three dollars and adult prices are five. But we're gonna have the pep band, we're gonna have everyone there, and it's gonna be real exciting playoff atmosphere. So be there. Another announcement, our Athletes of the Week that I do once a week will be tomorrow. We'll also have our academic award winners, athletic academic award winners on the, sh on the show. And all athletes that are in the team room, please clean out your lockers. You have to get out. Mr. Hackman is gonna come by with the hack saw if you're not out so please get out as soon as your season's completed we need room for the spring athletes and that's the news everyone see you tonight have a good thursday we'll see you tomorrow see you tonight It's Friday, February 20th. We Good made it. Good morning. The announcements today. Last call to pick up any work in the art room. Please come up and get your things. The Bow Parents of Performing Arts Students Organization now makes available scholarships for grades 9 to 11. These awards are available for a summer opportunity in the performing arts, such as music lessons, Performing Arts and Performing Arts Camp. The scholarship award is $100 each for a graduating senior going into a college program of performing arts. There is a $500 scholarship for this. Applications available for Mrs. Stebbins or Ms. Power, Mrs. Dare, and also in the guidance office. So if you're interested in applying for this scholarship, see one of those three people or go to the guidance office. Applications for the Bow Rotary Scholarship Fund are currently available in the guidance office. Any student accepted at an institution of higher learning will be eligible for this scholarship. Please stop by the guidance office for an application today. There's all kinds of money out there, guys. Go get it. Auditions for BHS First Musical Greece are March 2nd and 3rd at 3 o'clock p.m. in the auditorium. That's the Monday and the Tuesday after vacation. Any BHS student can audition. See Mrs. Pa Ms. Power for more information. Should I keep going? Do you want to do one? Okay. The Bow Parks and Recreation Department is sponsoring six trips over winter school vacation. Four ski snowboard trips with two to Mount Sunapee Ski Area on Monday, February 23rd and Friday, February 27th and two to Cannon Mountain Ski Area on Tuesday, February 24th, and Thursday, February 26th. The total cost for any of these ski snowboard trips is $13, including lift tickets and bus transportation. There is also a snow tubing trip to Gunstock on Wednesday, February 25th for $12, including bus and tube rental and a trip to the Museum of Science and Omni Theater on Friday, February 27th for $13. Sign up is at the Bow Recreation Department in the community building um, and please do this as soon as possible. We must have 20 people for each trip or the trip will be canceled. Registration forms are available in the cafeteria. Okay, are we ready for athletic awards? I am very proud to present Mr. Kaufman, who is going to present the Women's Athletic Award. This award is given to women athletes from the state of New Hampshire, and it is sponsored by this, the Commission on the Status of Women.
This award began 11 years ago, and at that time, five women were awarded athletic awards. This year, we had five just from Bow High School, and there were actually 433 women that received awards at the Capital Center for the Arts last week. I was very proud to have my sister be the keynote speaker there, and to watch these wonderful athletes and scholars from Bow High School receive awards. You have to maintain, you have to be a senior, you have to of course be a female, and you have to have maintained a B plus average while playing at least two varsity sports. It's a great accomplishment and we should be very proud of our athletes. And I'm going to let Mr. Kaufman do the introductions. Well, let me tell you about our outstanding senior athletes with great academic success too. First of all, as we pan the camera, we have Shelly Oppold here, who had an outstanding season on the soccer field this year in helping lead the bow team to a playoff victory and a great season. She also is a excellent softball player and, and will probably be the lead pitcher in the softball team. So congratulations, Shelly. Moving next to Shelly <laughs> is Allison Boyd, a familiar face on the fields and on the court. Field hockey captain, basketball captain, and we'll get into the game real quickly after this. Allison had 17 rebounds last night, and she's also an outstanding tennis woo, woo, woo. and an A student. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we have Paige Sims. Paige ran the cross country team. She played volleyball at John Stark for her first two years of her high school career, and she cross-country skied this year. Paige, sure. thank you. With us also this morning we sh Sharon Albert. Sharon also co-captained the soccer team and is a spring track runner and a cross-country skier in the winter. Congratulations, Sharon. Yay! Now with us this morning, and we don't have an empty chair, is Naomi McMicken, <laughs> Naomi, <laughs> outstanding cross country runner. Naomi is a cross country skier and an excellent track athlete that we'll see in the spring. So, congratulations, Naomi. Yeah. Congratulations, everyone, yeah. Bowl and all other schools. Now, on to 60 Second Sports, our athletes of the week from two weeks ago cross country skiing. 13th, you got the wrong picture there, Bob. 13th <laughs> place in the inaugural Bow Invitational. Not here, just to mention Naomi McMicken is our winner from two weeks ago. Woo! Senior. Last week, now Bob, we can pan the camera the other way. <laughs> Get off of me, please, and move over to Randy Weld, who's a sophomore here. Randy's a skier. He at the state championship, he was 14th out of 102. That's excellent. But Randy was racing at the start of the year, third or fourth on his team, and was the lead skier at, at the state championship, helping Bo come in fifth, and even defeated a teammate, Andrew Waples, who went on as a uh, uh, member of the Eastern. So Randy, great performance, great improvement during the season, and you are the Bo Falcon Athlete of the Week this week. <laughs> now back to me, Bob. Events. First of all, everybody's out of here in about five hours. I'm sure everybody's happy. But we do have some events going on. We have our girls' gymnastics team at the state. Ch we don't have a team of individuals at the state championship on Saturday at Salem High School. Representing Bo will be Nicole Cody Burke, Kara Tig, and Laura Crescetti. They're excellent gymnasts. If you want to see some great competition, go down to Salem. Good luck, ladies. Also, we have the IMS State Wrestling Championships going on tomorrow at Salhegan. I want an all-day affair. Go see Nick Bezos, Matt Reiner, Matt Elkins and company, John Greenhouse down at Salhegan. Hopefully, Bo will do real well there. Also, result last night. Bing, bing, bing. As predicted right here in the show, the winner, Bo <laughs> over Koenig. Avenge the early defeat. Bo moves on in the state tournament Sunday at Plymouth State. Go see Allison Board. Lloyd the boy. Boy, Allison Boy, Allison Boy. We play the number one seed, Cole Brown. We played him twice. 130 Sunday at Plymouth State. Be there or be what? Square. In a round <laughs> peg. And that is 62nd or 122nd sports. That was a great game last night. I really enjoyed that. You did great, Allie. And the rest of you girls did had did beautifully. It was it was a lot of fun to watch that game. I really enjoyed it. Um, 
One last announcement. We are looking for people to do the morning news. If you are interested, please see Ms. Lazat in the library. You're going to get sick of looking at us. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Have a wonderful vacation. Happy vacation. Yeah, good. That was a great show. <laughs> Thank you. Monday, March 2nd. The Bull High School Drama Club proudly presents Crying Out, a one-act play going to festival competition. You can see the play on Thursday, March 12th at 7.30 p.m. The show is 40 minutes long and it deals with teen issues. Tickets are $4 and the proceeds go to the production of Grease. Come see the show and support the drama club. A reminder that the Bull Pops organization is offering the following scholarships. Students in grade 9 through 11 can have some opportunities in music, drama, dance, voice lessons, or other aspects of the performing arts. For a graduating senior, continuing studies in the college level in the performing arts. Applications are available in the guidance office for Mrs. Power, Mrs. Stebbins, or Mrs. Dare. Application deadline is April 1st. A helpful reminder that there's a spring sports festival this Friday, March 6th, during activity period. The time is here, come one, come all, to the first Bow Prom Preview, which will be held during Thursday Advisory. See you there. Attention, after, sc after school chorus. If you are planning to sing with the con concert chorus on the State House on Thursday, you must clear your absence with period three and period five teachers. Bring your uniforms and you must get a blue permission slip and, sign it and get it signed by Wednesday to Mrs. Stevens. That's it for the announcements, have a good day. is looking for a healthy young student to do yard work. The rate of pay will be $8 or $9 an hour, depending on the quality of work done. If you're interested, please see Martha in the guidance department. Attention Sun River skiers and snowboarders. There will be a brief mandatory meeting Thursday after school or Friday during activity period. You need to turn in your liability waiver and pick up a contract for your parents to sign. Thank you, your advisors. Attention after school chorus. If you are planning to sing with the concert chorus at the State House on Thursday, you must clear your absence with your period 3 and period 5 teachers. Bring your uniforms for Thursday's performance and you must pick up a blue permission slip and turn it in by Wednesday to Mrs. Stebbins. Thanks. This morning at 10, the U.S. Marines will be in Guidance Department to go over information about the NROTC scholarship. All interested students should check in with the should check in with their teachers before coming to guidance. Thank you. Also on Friday, March 6th, the U.S. Navy will be visiting during lunch periods. Attention all athletes who are using a locker. You must remove your lock and the contents in your locker by this Friday or Phil will have it done for you. 
Thank you. A helpful reminder that this Friday, March 6th, during activity period, we'll be holding your spring sports sign-up meetings. Please do not schedule any club or activity during this period. Thank you for your assistance, Jim. The combined Rotary Clubs of Concord, <laughs> Bow, and Capital City are seeking college-level students from the greater Concord area who would be interested in studying abroad for one full academic year. Applicants may not be Rotarians. <laughs> nor close relatives of Rotarians, such as a spouse, child, and grandchild by blood, nor any legal adopted child. The purpose of the ambassadorial scholarships is to further international understanding and friendly relations among people of different countries while, you're fur while you further your studies abroad. Scholarship recipients are expected to be Rotary ambassadors of goodwill to the people of the host country. The deadline for applications is April 1st, 1998. By a Bull High School Drama Club proudly presents Cry Out, a one-act play going to festival competition. You can see the play on Thursday, March 12th at 7.30 p.m. The show is 40 minutes and it deals with teen issues. Tickets are $4 and this money goes to our production of Grease. Come see the show and support the Drama Club. Thank you. A reminder that the Bull Pops organization is offering the following scholarships. Grade 9 through 11, summer opportunities in music, drama, dance, voice lessons, and other aspects of the performing arts. For a graduating senior continuing studies on the college level in the performing arts, and applications are available in the guidance office for Ms. Power, Mrs. Stebbins, or Mrs. Dare. Application deadline is April 1st. Thanks, and those are our morning announcements. There will be a fashion show oh. tomorrow during advisory. <laughs> Everyone should dress up. Because? Because we're dressing up too. <laughs> and we're the models. No, and, and the guy, and the winner of the dress up will win a ride in a stretch limo for breakfast. With us. With us from 9.30 to 10.30. So you better dress up if you want to win. So dress up oh, tomorrow. And also, and also, if you have first period off, you have to come in for advisory because you don't want to miss the fashion show. It's going to be the bomb. <laughs> right, Charles? Right. So be there and dress up. Thank Bye. You. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Here's another one. Uh. And another one. Yeah. Oh Little Kim, the Queen B. It's Ladies Night, what? It must be Angie on the mic. The butter pea, honey, got the sugar, got the spice. Roll the L sight. Keep the rhymes right, y'all. I just made this motherfucker. Attention students attending the Barbershop Festival tomorrow, be at high school, Bow High School by four, five, six, fifty, five a.m. Uh, have your lunch and your concert clothes, your music. Get some sleep tonight. You done with that yet? Yes. Uh, reminder to all BHS cross country and downhill skiers. I think that covers all of you. I don't know any other types of skiing. Uh, please remember to take your skis and boots home during the storage area. Please see your coach or best teacher to arrange a time to pick them up. Also, we have th three mountain bikes that would be considered donations if not picked up soon. I guess they want them, so uh, take them home. Yeah. Ride them home, in fact. Uh, there's going to be a meeting of the newspaper club during break on Monday, March 9th in room 1200. Oh, our silent ringer is ringing. Oh, caller, you're let's on go to the caller. Oh, apparently they hung up. No one's, no one's <laughs> Oh, well, we'll get back to the phone lines later. Okay. Um, attention, the wonderful, wonderful people in Shashi's Algebra 2 class. We have an important homework change. Uh, get it in 2201 at the start of activity period. That was the, uh, what class? That's uh, the wonderful, wonderful people in Shashi's Algebra 2. Algebra 2. Okay, thank you. Um, there will be no 
yearbook meeting this week. Oh no! You know, <sighs> I live for those meetings. Color, you're on color. There. No one's. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting tired of that. Yeah. Right um, calls. Monday, March 9th, there will be a mandatory Senate meeting in room 1307. You must see either Allie Boyd or Mrs. Gar Mr. Mr. Garnum, not Mrs. <laughs> Garnum, because she might be upset that you're bothering her at home uh, if you cannot attend. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm crying out. Uh, very crying out. Out, 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 not in. Because crying on the inside can hurt too much. You need to cry out. out. Let it out, okay. people. Um, but it's Thursday. Thursday. This Thursday. This thir as opposed to ugh, next Thursday. Which yeah. actually it is next Thursday. It's not this Thursday. Because this Thursday has gone by. Shut up. It's next Thursday. It's next Thursday. At either 7 or 7.30. Wait. wait. There's still no one there. <laughs> no uh, one loves us. I'm sorry. Well, bye. Try again next time. I guess that wraps it up. March 9th, and today is an everyday day. I'm Liz. I'm Emily. And I'm Ashley. And here are your announcements. Attention all Alpine Ski Team members. There is a mandatory meeting sometime this week at 3 o'clock in room 2222. Please see Kelly Farrell if you have any questions. To all traveling domestic exchange students, your $300 payment is due no later than Thursday, March 12th. Please give your check to Mrs. Smith or Ms. Longnecker. Reminder to all staff, intercession forms are due in Mr. Or Irwin's box today. There will be a meeting of the newspaper club during <coughs> break on today in room 20, I mean in room 1200. <laughs> Just a reminder to all seniors that the March payment for your class trip is due now. Please turn in your check to Mrs. Graves, Mrs. Brown, or Mr. Edwards. Thank you. The combined Rotary Clubs of Concord, Bow, and Capital City are seeking college level students from the greater Concord area who will be interested in studying abroad for one full academic year. Applicants may not be Rotarians nor close relatives of Rotarians such as a spouse, child or grandchild by blood, nor any legally adopted child. The purpose of ambassadorial scholarships is to further international understanding and friendly relations among people of different countries while you further your studies abroad. Scholarship <laughs> are expected to be um, Rotary Ambassadors of Goodwill to keep people of the host country. The deadline for applicants is April 1st, 1998, and please see Guidance Department for any more information. <coughs> the, Bo the Bow High School Drama Club proudly presents Crying Out, a one-act play going, going to festival competition. You can see the play on Thursday, March 12th at 7.30 p.m. The show is 40 minutes and deals with teen issues. Tickets are $4 and and this money goes to the production of Grease. Come see the show and support the drama club. <coughs> Today, during break, there will be a mandatory Senate meeting in room 1307. You must see either Allie Boyd or Mr. Garnum if you cannot attend. Thanks. The Bow Parents of Performing Arts Students organization would like to remind students of two scholarship opportunities available at this time. For students in grades 9 through 11 who would like to pursue a summer educational opportunity in the performing arts, such as voice lessons, theater camp, etc., $100 scholarship applica applications are available for Mrs. Stebbins, Ms. Power, Mrs. Dare, or the guidance office. For a graduating senior continuing study on a college level in the field of performing arts, there is a $500 scholarship. Applications are available for Mrs. Stebbins, Ms. Power, Mrs. Dare, or the guidance office. Application deadline for both types of scholars for scholarships is April 1st. And those are your announcements. Put 
got love for all. Lion die. Good morning. Today's Tuesday, March 10th, and it's an odd day. I'm Shannon. I'm Tanya. I'm Amanda. Just a reminder <coughs> to all seniors that the March payment for the class trip is due now. Please turn in your check to Ms. Graves, Mrs. Brown, or Mr. Edwards. This is a reminder that the Rotary Clubs of Concord Bow and Capital City are seeking college level students from the greater Concord area who would be interested in studying abroad for one academic year. To all traveling domestic exchange students, your $300 payment is due no later than Thursday, March 12th. Please give your check to Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Longnecker. Math team members, please see Mr. Tessier tomorrow during activity period. Sunday River skiers and snowboarders, please check the list of names in the hallway next to the gymnasium <coughs> doors to make sure all your forms are in. If they're not turned in before Friday, you're in trouble. The Bow High School Drama Club proudly presents Crying Out, a one-act play going to festival competition. You can see the play on Thursday, March 12th at 7.30 p.m. The show is 40 minutes and deals with teen issues. Tickets are $4 and this money goes to the production of Grease. Come see the show and support the Drama Club. The Career College and Financial Aid Fair Committee will meet on Thursday, March 10th at 3 p.m. in the library. The Bow Parents of Performing Arts Students Organization would like to remind students of two scholarship opportunities available at this time. For students in grades 9 through 11 who would like to pursue a summer educational opportunity in the performing arts, such as voice lessons, theater camp, etc., $100 scholarship applications are available from Mrs. Stebbins, Ms. Power, Ms. Stair, or the guidance office. For graduating, senior, continue, continuing study on a college level in the field of performing arts, there's a $500 scholarship. Applications are available from Ms. Stebbins, Ms. Power, Ms. Stale, and Dare in the guidance office. Application deadline for both types of scholarships is April 1st. Thanks. Have a good day. New York to the heart, but got love for all. Lie and die in the fire where I learn the ball. domestic exchange students, your $300 payment is due no later than Thursday, March 12th. Please give your check to Mrs. Smith or Ms. Longnecker. Just a reminder to all seniors that the March payment for the class trip is now due. Please turn in your check to Mrs. Graves, Mrs. Brown, or Mr. Edwards. Math team members, please see Mr. Tessier Wednesday during activity period. Sunday River skiers and snowboarders, please check the list of names in the hallway next to the gymnasium doors to make sure all of your forms are in. If your name is on the list, you are missing forms. Turn in before Friday or else. The combined Rotary Clubs of Concord, Bow, and Capital City, the clubs, are seeking college-level students from the greater Concord area who would be interested in studying abroad for one full academic year. Applicants may not be Rotarians, nor are close relatives of Rotarians, such as a spouse, child, or grandchild by blood, nor any legally adopted child. The purpose of the ambassadorial scholarship is to further international understanding and friendly relations among people of different countries while you further your studies abroad. Scholarship recip recipients are expected to be Rotary, Rotary ambassadors of goodwill to the people of the host country. The deadline for applicants is April 1st, 1998. Please see Guidance Department for more information. Bull Parents of Performing Arts Students Organization would like to remind students of two scholarship opportunities available at this time. For students in grade 9 to 11 who would like to pursue a summer educational opportunity in the performing arts such as voice lessons, theater camp, etc. $100 scholarship applications are available for Mrs. Stebbins, Ms. Power, Ms. Mrs. Dare, or the guidance office. 
for graduating senior continuing continuing study on a college level in the field of performing arts there is a $500 scholarship applicants are available from Mrs. Stebbins, Ms. Power, Mrs. Dare or the guidance office application deadline for both types of scholarships is April 1st the career college and financial aid fair committee will meet on Tuesday March 10th at 3 p.m. in the library and now to Mr. Kaufman for the Athlete of the Week. Good morning, everyone. In 60 Second Sports, a few quick announcements. Next Tuesday, St. Patrick's Day, we have the Winter Sports Awards Night. It starts at 6 o'clock for all members of winter teams here at Poe High School. 6 o'clock for pizza. Athletes will be in the cafeteria. Parents will have their own coffee and dessert hospitality. Please let your parents know that we will not be serving a pizza. They'll be having dessert and coffee outside. And at 7 o'clock, we go to the auditorium for the coaches and the Falcon Awards. And then the teams will break up at 8 o'clock to, to give out letters and certificates. Also, late sign-ups for spring sports. Anyone, particularly baseball players, that missed the sign-up, see me right after these announcements outside the library. I'll take your name, sign you up. Also, permission slips will be given out at that time. Anyone who needs a permission slip, please come by after uh, the announcements. Winter pictures, I have them. Please come see me. And uh, now on to Athletes of the Week. First of all, for the week of February 16th to 21st, we have Laura Crescenti, a freshman, gymnast, competing under the Bow High School banner. Laura becomes Bow High's first individual state champion. Congratulations, Laura. She won the vault competition. She's third in the all-around, and she's on her way to the New Englands this weekend in Providence, Rhode Island. Congratulations, Laura. Great accomplishment. Now moving on to our last week of the season, we have co-athletes of the week. Honored are two of our outstanding seniors. Allison Boyd and Nick Bezos, both two sport captains, three sport athletes. And for Allison, she got honored in our first playoff game against Conant. We were a very undersized team. All Allison did was play like a true senior leader with 10 points and 17 rebounds. Then we went on to Plymouth State, where Allison came up with a strong game with 8 points and 13 rebounds. So again, two great seasons. Allison, thank you very much. And Nick Bezos, senior leader of the wrestling team, second in the IMS state championship at 152-pound class. Nick uh, certainly didn't dishonor himself in the championship. He only lost to the two-time New England champion. Nick now has 56 victories in wrestling, which will go on to be the career record here at Bow High School. Congratulations, Nick. And that is 60 Second Sports. Back to the anchor desk. Hi, Laura. <laughs> On Friday, March 13th, a representative will be here from UNH Manchester. She will be in the guidance department at 9 a.m. If you wish to come to learn about UNH Manchester, please let your teacher know before coming down. Thank you. And the Bow High School Drama Club proudly presents Crying Out, a one-act play going to festival competition. You can see the play on Thursday, March 12th at 7.30 p.m. The show is 40 minutes and deals with teen issues. Tickets are $4, and this money goes to our production of Grease. So come see the show and support the Drama Club. Uh. Uh -huh, yeah. What y'all wanna do? Wanna be ballers, shot callers, brawlers Who be dipping in the bins with the spoilers On the low from the Jake and the... My name is Cameron, and this is the Almighty Staff. We're doing the news. 
There will be a lip sync talent show Thursday night, April 9th. Auditions will be held the week of March 23rd. Please sign up in the office next week. Faculty and students, welcome. There will be a brief junior class meeting in the auditorium today during activity or extra help period. The spring SAT date is May 2nd. Registration deadline is March 26th. Late registration is March 27th through April 10th. Registration forms are available in the guidance office. There will not be a yearbook meeting this week. If you need a camera or film, please see Mrs. Newson, that kickboxing queen. Students interested in spending the three days of intercession in Boston doing museums, colleges, and newspapers, please come to a meeting during Monday's break in the chorus room. This is not a commitment. This is just a meeting to see who is interested. Also, please sign up on the poster in front of the hall if you are interested. On March 25th, Bow High School will be participating in a college planning night at Concord High School. The evening will start at 6.30 with a keynote speaker and will be followed by several interesting workshops and various exhibits. Mark your calendars and plan to attend. There will be a mandatory Senate meeting today. Everyone must be there activity period in room 1307. A reminder to outgoing club members going to Sunday River. There will be a meeting in room 1202 during activity period today. <coughs> Winter Athletic Awards are Tuesday night. Um, pizza for athletes is at 6 and parents and family in the foyer for dessert and coffee. The awards start at 7. Boys lacrosse meeting next Wednesday after school in the library and boys tennis meeting Wednesday in the best classroom next to the weight room. The best classroom. <laughs> Thank you. That concludes the news. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Welcome to the morning news. Students interested in spending the three days of intermission in Boston should come to an informational meeting in this chorus room today during the short break. If you can't be there, see Mrs. Stebbins, Ms. Pila, Mrs. Mr. Pasalt, Ms. Angwin, or Mrs. Albert sometime today. Reminder to all students, tomorrow night is the Winter Sports Awards. It'll start with pizza and drinks in the cafeteria for all winter athletes at 6 o'clock. There'll be dessert and coffee for adults and friends. That'll be in the lobby starting at 6.30, and then the awards will begin at 7 o'clock. There will be a brief meeting after second period in the auditorium for the cast of Greece. You will receive updated schedules. A reminder that this Wednesday night, there will be a Music in Our Schools Month concert. It'll be here at the Bow High School Auditorium beginning at 7 o'clock. And we'd like everyone to come and support Music in Our Schools Month. Come, dance, come to the dance this Friday 20th from 7.30 to 11. Tickets will be on sale for $3 at school, $5 at the door, and guests and sign them up in the office. Come in your regular clothes and be ready to groove. You going to go to the dance? I don't know. I'm going to be there. It's going to be great. Yeah. And also, this weekend, on Saturday night, the Women's Issues Group will be hosting a concert. It will feature the band Michigan that has our very own Deb Rookie in it. So make sure that you uh, spend the weekend at Bow High School, Friday night at the dance, Saturday night at the concert. Okay. The BHS Drama Club participated in the regional NHEDC Festival at John Stark Regional High School on Saturday. The bad news is we will not be going on to the states. The news is we did win a lighting, the best lighting and sound award for our 
Lighting Thing and Rob Bloomfield, Jason Hopkins, and Kristen Collada, and Luke McCarthy won that award. And they did a great job. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to everybody. And we did get a participation award. That was great. And I think that uh, the whole school perhaps will get the opportunity to see the Drama Club and their production of Crying Out this Thursday during advisory period. Oh, I think I, that's going to happen. I thought it? it was tomorrow. No, I think it's she Thursday. said it was tomorrow during yeah. reading. I, I think it's going to be Thursday. Hmm. A reminder to the Boys Lacrosse Club, uh, the Boys Lacrosse team, if you're planning on trying out for Boys Lacrosse, there'll be a meeting Wednesday. It'll be in the Media Center. And for the Boys Tennis team, there will be a meeting on Wednesday. It'll be in the best classroom next to the weight room. Also, raffle tickets were won last Friday for the reserved parking spots in the student parking lot. Students should not be parking in the first five reserved spots in the parking lot. And I think that's it. Have a good day. Bye. I'm Cameron Audette, and this is Jason Hewitt. We're here to do the morning news. Good morning. Good morning. Tonight is the Winter uh, Sports Awards. Be there. All right. There's a boys lacrosse meeting Wednesday at the uh, Media Center. <laughs> Center. Center. Yeah. Come to the music concert tomorrow night. Boys tennis meeting Wednesday and the uh, best classroom next to the weight room. <laughs> On March 25th, Bow High School will be participating in a college planning night at Concord High School. The evening will start at 6.30 with a keynote speaker and be followed by several interesting workshops and various exhi exhibits. <laughs> Mark your calendars and plan on attending. Very good. Come to the dance this Friday, March 20th from 7.30 to 11 p.m. Tickets will be on sale for $3 at school and $5 at the door. Bring a guest and sign them up in the office. Come in your regular clothes and be ready to groove. All right. <laughs> All girls interested in playing on the tennis team should uh, attend the uh, information meeting on Thursday, March 19th at 3 o'clock in room 2307. Once again, that's 2307. This Saturday, March 21st at 7 p.m., Women's Issues is having a concert. All ticket proceeds will go towards the new Women's Issues Scholarship. The featured band is Mishkit, and uh, my band will be there, too. That's, uh, so be there if you can. It's going to be a lot of fun, hopefully, I think. Raffle tickets were won last Friday for two reserved student parking spots in the parking lot. Students should not be parking in the first five reserved spots. Thank you. That's it for the and announcements. That's it for the amount announcements. Today. Announcements. That's Thank right. you very much. Have a good day.
morning, everybody. It's Wednesday the 18th. Mrs. Albert and I are here today to bring you the morning news. First announcement this Saturday, March 21st at 7 p.m., Women's Issues is having a concert. My tooth is getting in my way here. It's making me lift. All tickets, all ticket proceeds will go towards the new Women's Issues Scholarship. The feature band is Mishkit. Be careful how you say that. Be there Saturday night. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, they're awesome. They're very good. Very good. I haven't I'll, heard them, but I know they're good. I have. I have. I've heard the CD. Deadlines are fast approaching for scholarship applications. Bo, Parents of Performing Arts Student Organization. The deadline, April 1st. Students in grades 9 through 11 should submit application materials for summer performing arts activity. And they list some examples. You could do formal instrument lessons, camp experiences such as dance, theater, and voice lessons, just for, just for a few things to toss out there. Applications may be obtained from Ms. Sisk, Ms. Rain, Mrs. Stebbins, Mrs. Dare, Ms. Power, or our very own Bow High School Guidance Office. Award recipients will be notified in writing. And here's another one. The deadline is also April 1st on this one. Application materials for a graduating high school senior pursuing a degree either in the performing arts or the teaching of performing arts should be submitted. The $500 award will be presented at the Senior Awards Night coming right up sooner than we think. Coming right up. In June. In June. Applications are available from Mrs. Stebbins, Mrs. Dare, Ms. Power, or again, our Bow High School Guidance Office. However, if you want more information, you can contact Paula Reese, who's the corresponding secretary of Bow Pops, at 226-2018. They do everything. They do. They, they, they're awesome. They're just unbelievable. Yep, they're awesome. To the cast of Grease, there will be no rehearsal today. That's Wednesday, no rehearsal today. Today's evening rehearsal is moved to tomorrow, Thursday evening. Check outside the auditorium door <coughs> for the schedule. Dance. Here's an announcement about the dance. Oh. Come to the dance this Friday, March 20th from 7.30 to 11. And tickets are going to be on sale right here in school for three dollars. Ooh, cheap. Five bucks at the door though. Oh, expensive. Get them early. Five dollars at the door, three dollars if you buy them at school. Bring a guest. You've got to sign them up in the office. Make sure you do that. Come in your regular clothes and be ready to... Ooh, boogie. Grope. Yeah. Ooh, All I'm right. Ooh, clothes. Your ears are bent. It, they bent? Yes, they're bent. All right. Mm -hmm. can't, can't, do can't do anything with them. It's going to storm today. That's why I can't oh. do a thing with my ears when it's going to storm. The BHS Band and Chorus will be giving a concert tonight at 7 in the BHS Auditorium. It's going to be a great show tonight at 7. Please join us. All girls interested in playing on the tennis team, you should attend an informational meeting this Thursday, March 19th at 3 o'clock in room 2307. So if there's any girls interested in all in being on the tennis team, here's your chance to get all that information this Thursday, March 19th, 3 o'clock, right after school in room 2307. And that tennis coach, I think that's Miss Steiner. That it, it tennis is. coach. She is awesome. She beat Martina Navratilova in practice several years ago. She, not, she doesn't want to talk about it. She she's, won't talk she's about it. She's going to be mad at us now. Ask Miss Steiner about when yeah. she beat Martina. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it is. Boys lacrosse meeting uh, Wednesday, that's today, in the Media Center, and also boys tennis meeting today in the best classroom downstairs next to the weight room. Make sure you're there. Now to this. Oh. this. I'm sure this has caught your attention. This is our spring basket that we are raffling off. The school store is sponsoring the raffle. We've got tons of goodies in there, all kinds of great, great, great stuff that's sure to give you a tummy ache if you oh. eat it all at once. But all proceeds, all proceeds are going to go to the performance of Greece. They need money oh, for their yes. performance, and we're donating all proceeds to that. 50 cents for one raffle ticket. That's all. Three for a buck. Oh, that's even better. What a bargain. So for 50 cents, you could take this you could basket, take this home. $50 value. Two movie passes in here, guys. You can see Titanic for the fourth time. Oh. And two tickets to Greece as well. Not to mention the plush bunny. This Did you catch is that? A, the, the bunny, plush, the, the plush. basket, 
This is a bargain. Support this your drama bargain. club, guys. When are we going to draw the ticket for this? Uh, probably in a couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Okay. Yep. So we had a lot of parents buy raffle tickets last night at the winter sports banquet. So get your tickets in. Yep. Get your money in. Yeah, that's it. And I think that we have one more. We have one more. I had a student approach me in the calf this morning, and she would like to wish Sarah Stoddard. Sarah. A happy birthday, happy birthday today, Sarah. Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Have a good time today. Happy birthday, and I believe. That's all that is for it. the morning announcements. Have a hopping good Wednesday, and we hope everybody has a great day today. That's right, we do. Bye. Bow High School. Good morning. It's Thursday, March 19th, and it is an odd day. Yes, it is. I'm Maria Shriver. And I'm Katie Couric. Good morning. Thursday, April 9th at 7.30 p.m., the first ever Bow High School talent show and lip sync will occur. It's only $3 at the door only. Sign up for auditions in the office, so any of you who have a talent or can lip sync should come out. April 9th, 7.30. You're going to be there? Yeah. You're in the show, aren't you? I'm thinking you? about doing the Supremes. What do you think? Oh, well, I was going to do Cher. Oh, oh okay. maybe I can be sunny. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great idea. I okay. Oh, hmm. Okay. Uh, on Friday, May 22nd, from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., the New England Association for College Ad Admission Counseling will be sponsoring the fifth annual college fair at Keene State College. Approximately 200 colleges and universities will be represented. The fair will take place in the Spalding Gymnasium. Please see guidance. And all girls interested in playing on the tennis team should attend an informational meeting today after school at 3 o'clock in room 2307. And as many of you may have heard yesterday, I did play in a match with Martina. And, and won. Yes. However, wow, I kudos have to admit, to you. this weekend I played against Venus Williams and I was not so successful. <laughs> well, she is I'm going to have to improve my skills. <sighs> Will you keep up the good work? Okay. This Saturday, March 21st at 7 p.m., Women's Issues is having a concert. All ticket proceeds will go towards the new Women's Issues Scholarship. The featured band is our very own Mishkit. Be there or be square. This is for a good cause, so everyone should attend. And next week, next week is Spirit Week. Show your stuff and make a statement. We have lots of great activities planned for next week. So um, on Monday, you should be wearing your greatest t-shirt. I know I have mine already picked out. How about you, Maria? Uh -huh, I sure do, Katie. <laughs> and Tuesday is your Wear your coziest flannels because it's PJ day and slippers. You need to wear your slippers. I have some special slippers picked up for that too. Do they have pom poms on them? No, you'll see. <laughs> they bark. <laughs> PJ day is my favorite. Thursday, Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday is beach day. Summer in March. Ah. So maybe you can wear your shorts, your, you know, your nice sunglasses. <laughs> Thursday, blue, gold, white, show Falcon Pride All right. Thursday. So that's it. Okay. Deadlines are fast approaching for the uh, scholarship application sponsored by the Bow Parents of Performing Arts Students Organization. The April 1st deadline, deadline is for students grades 9 to 11. They should sh submit their application materials for summer performing arts activities. Some examples would be formal instrument lessons, camp experiences, dance, theater, and voice lessons. Applications may be obtained from Mrs. Sisk, Ms. Rain, Mrs. Stebbins, Mrs. Dare, Ms. Power, or the BHS Guidance Office. Award recipients will be notified in writing. 
April 1st is also the deadline application for graduating high school seniors pursuing a degree in the performing arts or the teaching of the performing arts. And they should, all be, they should also be submitted as soon as possible. That award is in the amount of $500 and will be presented at the Senior Award wow. Night in June. That's hey, a lot of money. I think some of these seniors should go for it. That so is a too. lot of money. Um, and again, you may get receive applications from Mrs. Stebbins, Mrs. Deere, Ms. Power, or the BHS Guidance Office. For more information, uh, contact Paula Reese um, or the Bo Pops. And that's it. That's have a great have. day, everyone. Have fun in advisory. Sports. We have softball practice in the gym. Whoops. Meet outside the gym doors at 3:45 p.m. Also, there will be baseball practice, and he wants you to be dressed and out front of the lobby at 3 p.m. There will be girls lacrosse in the gym at 3:15. The Bow Recreation is sponsoring a ski and snowboard trip to Cannon Mountain next Friday, March 27th, when there is no school. Lift tickets are including bus transportation, only $13. 20 students must sign up. Okay. By Wednesday, March 25th, um, for the trip. In order to go, the you have to have a registration form. They're available in the Bow High School cafeteria. <laughs> Attention all students who are participating in track for Bow High. Dress for outside Stop. weather practice on Monday. There will be girls lacrosse meeting today at March 20th in room 1202 during activity period. It's mandatory for anybody interested in tryouts on Monday. The meeting will only last about five minutes or so, so if you can't make it, see Chris Robb or Jesse Colley. The deadline is April 1st for students in grades 9 to 11 who need to hand in the materials for a summer performing arts activity. You can get these forms from Ms. Sisk, Ms. Rain, Ms. Stebbins, Mrs. Dare, Ms. Power, or the BHS Guidance Office. Award winners will be notified in writing. Yeah. This Saturday, March 21st at 7 p.m., the Women's Issues is having a concert which everyone should know about. All ticket proceeds go to the new Women's Issues Scholarship. The featured band is Mesh Kit, also featuring Ground Zero. Be there. Thursday, April 9th, 7.30 p.m. is the first ever BHS talent show in Lip Sync. $3 at the door only. Sign-ups for auditions are in the office. Next week is Spirit Week. Show your stuff and make a statement. Monday, wear your greatest t-shirt. Tuesday, wear your coziest flannels and slippers because it's PJ Day. Wednesday, Beach Day, summer in March. And Thursday, blue, gold, and white. Show your falcon pride. Yeah. Yep. It's Wednesday and it is beach day and we're all going to the beach after school because it's nice and warm out. Um, a few announcements. The Bow Recreation Department deadline for signing up for this Friday ski and snowboard trip is today, Wednesday, 
at four thirty at the community center the department must have twenty people signed up by four thirty today or the trip will be cancelled as of tuesday twenty people had not signed up so if you want to go you need to sign up after school today and bring your beach gear do you need community service here is an opportunity to, to receive community service by helping out the PTO Spring Sports Sale at the Bow Community Center. Help is needed in setup from 2 to 7 p.m. on this Friday, March 27th. Help is needed at the actual sale on Saturday, March 28th, from 9 to 2 p.m. Here is a chance to help your community and to get some great buys at the sale. If interested, see Mrs. Albert soon. For those of you who still need community service, this is easy, easy stuff. Um, driver's education classes. It will begin Monday, April 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. That's in the evening in room 1313. Classes will be Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Applications are available in the front office. Deadline for sign-up is Friday, April 17th. That's right before vacation for those of you counting down. Um, the first ever BHS talent show in Lip Sync, I haven't signed up yet, um, is Thursday, April 9th at 7.30 in the auditorium. It's going to be $3. And if you want to sign up to be in it, you can sign up for auditions in the office. Sign up now, practice your stunts, all that fun stuff. And last but certainly not least, the deadline is coming up for um, performing arts um, scholarships. Students in grades 9 through 11 should hand in application materials for summer performing arts activity. Applications may be obtained by Ms. Sisk, Ms. Rain, Mrs. Stebbins, Ms. Dare, Mrs. Dare, Ms. Power, that's me. Uh-oh, I just gave away my identity. <laughs> or the BHS Guidance Office. Award winners will be notified in writing, and the deadline for that is April 1st, coming up really soon. The um, other deadline for April 1st is application materials for a graduating high school senior pursuing a degree either in the performing arts or the teaching of the performing arts should be dis uh, submitted April 1st. The $500 award, $500 award for, will be presented at the Senior Awards Night in June. Applications are available from Mrs. Stebbins, Mrs. Dare, Ms. Power, and that's me again, or the BHS Guidance Office. Um, really good opportunities. You should take these opportunities because this could be your future in the performing arts. I hope you all have a great day. Don't make fun of me when you're in the hall and see you later. That music you just heard was uh, Herbie Hancock on the album New Standard. He's a great jazz pianist, so uh, you should listen to him. Now, first and most importantly, definitely most importantly, the Interact Club is having a meeting about the spring fling this Friday during activity period in room 2305. And we need a lot of help with it, so please come. And that's so important, I'm going to say it again at the end and emphasize it even more. All right, other announcements. Uh, students interested in uh, yeah, that would be attending. An attending Boys State should see Miss Steiner. I'm guessing that's tennis because I think Miss Steiner's a tennis coach. They don't tell me anything. Uh, all after school course members need to return their music to the folio cabinet immediately so the music can be cataloged and returned. Also, there will be no rehearsal to the after school. All right. Uh, also today after school, the Career, College, and Financial Aid Fair Committee will meet today, that's today, uh, at 4.30 in the Media Center Conference Room, where help is needed as we make final preparations for the fair. 
And for anyone interested in attending the uh, Code of Responsibilities meeting, it has been bumped to Friday during activity period in room 2303. All right, now back to this whole Interact thing. For those of you who don't know, the Interact Club is organizing a uh, spring fair that's going to be called the Spring Fling for the town, and it's going to be on May 16th. And uh, on the fields back there, you can't really see where I'm pointing because, you know, I'm on camera now, but um, in the fields behind the school, it's going to be a bandstand with uh, bands like Jesse, the Mud Hens, possibly Groove Child, and a jazz group called Tonkin Toys. It's going to be a road race in the morning uh, out around Bow Bog and Bow Center. Um, and all throughout the day, there are going to be little carnival game type things on the uh, other fields and the parking lots. And see, this is a great project, but the problem problem is that there are only four of us in the club. Now, um, it's a lot of work for four people. So what we need you to do is come to room 2305 during the activity period Friday to help us out. Uh, we need help with um, setting things up, with direct traffic, uh, with just organizing the road race, organizing the booths, manning the booths, anything you want. And it's also good for community service hours, and it'll be fun, maybe. Yeah, no, it will be fun, by golly. Uh, and that's it. Uh, if you're interested in listening to more jazz, I would suggest Miles Davis's uh, Kind of Blue or maybe Coltrane's Love Supreme, but who am I to judge? Uh, that's it, I guess. Bye. Today is March 31st. This is Tony and I'm Allison. The Interact Club is having a huge meeting this Friday during the activity period in the auditorium. We will be discussing the spring fling, fling and need to form subcommittees for the road race, booths, and music. We encourage all athletes, the NHS, Student Senate, and every club to come, like the Spanish and French and Outing Club. So basically everyone in the entire school should come to the auditorium this Friday during activity period for the Interact Club meeting. A student interested in attending Boy Stage should see Mrs. Steiner. <laughs> Soon. Walkers are wanted for the New Horizons of New Hampshire Incorporated. They are hosting the 8th annual Walk for Hunger on Sunday, May 3rd at 1 p.m. in Victory Park in Manchester. Forms are in the main office. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., a representative from the U.S. Marines will be in the guidance <laughs> office. The representatives will have information on the ROTC scholarship. Student Senate will be meeting Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Everyone should attend. We also invite students and faculty to attend and express their concerns, suggestions, comments, and ideas. We are making the meetings open to the entire school from now on, so please come and use your senators every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. The guidance department now has many scholarships available. Please stop by to pick up applications. Deadlines are nearing, so don't delay. I don't know New York. Juniors should be thinking about taking their SATs this spring. Guidance has the registration material they need. Stop by today. <laughs> the Bow Pop scholarship applications are in the guidance office, and the deadline is Wednesday, so go get them. Have a good day. Shashi Ramakrishna. And I'm Rob Kurlansky. This is April 2nd, and here are the morning announcements. 
Students interested in attending Boys State should see Miss Steiner. Whatever Boys State is. <laughs> the sophomore class, this is a sophomore class announcement. Whoever is interested in working on a dance, on a dance committee, there will be a meeting Tuesday, April 7th at 7 a.m. in the cafeteria. If you're unable to come but want to serve on the, dan on the committee, talk to Kay Phelps or Courtney Scott. Seniors, if you, have, if you have been accepted to a college, please come share your news with gui the guidance department. We are very proud of all seniors and would like to congratulate you on a job well done. And before I go, I want to say I thank Kentucky for winning because it took me off the hook. And the last five times Kentucky has won, the Yankees have won the World Series. So something to look forward to. On Wednesday, April 8th, a representative from the U.S. Marines will be in the guidance department at 9 a.m. ROTC will be discussed. If you're interested, please check with your teacher before coming into guidance. Scholarship deadline, deadlines are nearing. Uh, most deadlines are around April 15th. Applications and informations are in the guidance office, so please come by and pick up the ones that you need. It should help out. Now this is, okay, seniors, seniors, seniors. It says to read it three times, okay? Uh, please uh, pay your final payment for class trip. Some of you are late because this was due April 1st, and it was 120 bucks, okay? It's also an extra 29 if you're planning to go to Epcot. You need to find Mrs. Graves or Mrs. Brown. And it also says to think Mickey and think son. So I guess that's it for today. Adios. Roger. I'm Nate Davis, and we're just bubbling with enthusiasm this fine spring morning. Better believe it, Nate. Yeah. Um, seniors, seniors, seniors. Uh, please pay your final payment for class trip if in. No. Uh, is It is $120, I'm guessing. I can't really read this. Miss Graves, it says print clearly. Might want to try that next time. Uh -huh. It was due April 1st. Um, also, if you are going to Epcot, it is another $29. Give to Miss Graves and Miss Brown. Uh, think Mickey. Think so. All right. Edith Seniors, all these sophomores. Sophomore class, whoever's interested in working on the dance committee, there'll be a meeting Tuesday, April 7th at 7 a.m. Kind of early for me, but I'm not a sophomore. In the cafeteria. If you're unable to come but want to serve on the committee, talk to Katie Phelps or Courtney Scala. Libraries are going to be closed this activity period because Ms. Lazad will be at a very important meeting. And this very important meeting is a code of responsibility meeting. It's today in room 2203. All student Senate members, invited students, and interested teachers need to be there. Sounds important, so go. It's from Shashi. Hey Chris, you gotta do a witty banter. Make witty, witty comments. Banter. I wasn't witty at all. I wasn't witty. Sorry. I'm okay. a witty person. There will be a brief meeting today in room 1202 for those students who are going on the Bean Town Blitz with Mrs. Albert during the intercession. Bring your signed permission slips with you. Be there at the very beginning, that is underlined twice, of activity period. Four times, actually. Now, witty again. No, I'm not a witty person. You'd be the witty one. All right. On April 8th, uh, yeah, on Wednesday, April 8th, a representative from the U.S. Marines will be in the guidance department at 9 a.m. ROTC. What does that stand for? It stands for Reserve Officer Training Corps. All right. Yeah, uh, will be discussed. If you're interested, please check in with your teachers before coming to guidance. It's not good to skip out of a class. I'm not witty, don't go there. 
If you have been accepted to college, please come share your news with the guidance department. We are very proud of all our seniors and would like to congratulate you on a job well done. You've been accepted to a college? I've been accepted to several colleges, Chris. Have you yet? No, because you're a freshman. Well, doesn't that just stink now, doesn't it? I've been invited to apply for some. No, I haven't, but just sound Look, like right, no, no, don't use this place as a venue to brag. No, I'm serious, no. <laughs> Scholarship so deadlines are nearing. Many deadlines are April 15th. Applications and information are in the guidance department now. Please pick up the ones you need, and I really haven't been accepted to any colleges. All students involved in Greece need to meet in the auditorium during activity period today for photographs. You want to read that one? So we also need What the heck? Oops. Toronto bound humans. Today's meeting has been rescheduled for Monday after school at 2201. It'll end before practice starts. It's mandatory. Shashi. All right, now uh, ignore a lot of this stuff. The big thing today is, of course, the interactive meeting about the spring flynn. That's going to be in the auditorium, not room 2305 during activity period. It's going to plan for the spring fair that the interact club is organizing, and we're going to need a lot of help. So please come. And uh, once again, that's in the uh, auditorium. I've been saying 2305 all week, but apparently I've just been wrong, so uh, don't go there. Or if you do, I'll probably be there and direct you to the auditorium. But then again, if you heard this announcement, you didn't need to know that. So that was a pretty pointless comment, wasn't it? Pretty much. Anyway, uh, please come because we need a lot of help. It'll be maybe fun. Um, and uh, community service hours. Everyone needs them. Yeah. Um, apologize for this. This wasn't funny at all today. Next time I do it, um, it will be hopefully markedly improved. Um, and that that will be improved because I won't be here. Not even going to dignify that with a comment. We're done. Good job. It's Tuesday, April 7th, and it is an odd day. It's also going to be a beautiful day today, almost 65 degrees. The domestic exchange students will have a mandatory meeting, a brief meeting, following period two on Wednesday in room 2220. Also, permission slips are due to Ms. Longnecker or Mrs. Smith by Wednesday, April 8th. That's tomorrow. Get your permission slips in. Tuesday, uh, students in the hiking act students in the hiking activity for intercession are reminded that there is a meeting tomorrow. I'm sorry, tomorrow. That's Wednesday, in the gym during extra help. If you have any questions, see please see Chris Robb. If I had my glasses on, I could see these uh, notices a lot better. Okay. Um, let's see. There will be a meeting for the yearbook club on Wednesday, April 8th during activity period. Students interested in working on next year's yearbook are encouraged to attend the meeting. The meeting will be in room 1209. Outing club meeting on Friday in the gymnasium. AMC overnight. Our second meeting is Tuesday, that's today from 7 to 9 p.m. See you there for planning and fun. And that's it. That's all we have. I'd like to remind all of you that when the announcements come on to please sit tight and listen to them because you don't want to miss any of the important stuff. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.
announcements. I'm Heather. I'm Joe. Okay, there will be an important try and meeting during Extra Help Break Friday, this tomorrow, for all participating inductees. Please be prompt. There's an announcement about Grease. Any cast, crew, or pit band member for Grease who wants a Grease t-shirt needs to sign up with Miss Power by this Friday. Also, anyone involved in Greece who did not get their photo taken last Friday needs to have their photo taken this Friday during activity period. Today, Thursday, is the last day to buy raffle tickets for the spring basket. Tickets are 50 cents each or three for a dollar, and the proceeds go to Greece. So you've got to buy one. You have to buy one, so it's a really cool basket. It's really cool. You it's like all sorts of stuff. It's like candy and stuff. It's really cool. Okay, there will be an important meeting during activity period on Friday. It's tomorrow, too. For the students going on the Beantown Blitz over intercession with Mrs. Albert in room 1202, you need to bring a signed permission slip and $10 to this meeting to pay for the museum fees. Be there. There will be a yearbook meeting Monday, April 13th. That would be next Monday in room 1209. Photographers are needed. The Spanish Club is sponsoring a Sunday Friday. It's like ice cream Sundays. This Friday, it's tomorrow, on April 10th, tomorrow, the Spanish Club is raising money for a trip to Ecuador to work in an orphanage. Aw, how sweet. That's cute. All the proceeds of Sunday Friday will go towards the trip. Don't forget your money on Friday. During A, B, and C lunch, Sundays will be made outside of the cafeteria. A regular sized Sunday will include two scoops and toppings, and it will cost $1.75. A large size Sunday will include three scoops and toppings, and it will cost two twenty-five. So bring your money because it's going to be really cool, and it goes to a good cause. Really good cause. You got to yep. do it. Orphanage. Okay. Um, GP Auto Specialists Incorporated is looking for a junior or senior to help with general accounting duties, data entry, and filing. If you are interested, please call Helene at two two eight five five seven seven. That's two two eight five five seven seven. Looking for a job? This is good. Oh wait, one more. Uh, okay, tonight, the Lip Sync and Talent Show will be here at 7.30. It's going to be really, really cool, so be there. Okay. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be cool. Everyone have a great day. Have fun. Bye. Bye. was shot and killed yesterday. He is meeting with the parents of a 15-year-old girl. The girl had missed several school functions without an explanation. An argument interrupted between the father and the teacher, which resulted in the teacher's death. The father had previously made several death threats on the teacher's life. So Laura, what do you have for sports news? The bow gymnastics team had their first meet and won. And the weather for today We'll have lots of snow in the 30s, and tomorrow it'll be sunny, snow, and low in the 30s. That's the news for today. Have a good day. Sixteen inch fresh balsam wreaths. They are $13 each, and this price includes a red velvet waterproof bow. Delivery date is Saturday, December 5th. You can pick yours up at the high school. Uh, 10 to 11 a.m. Uh, or you can have your 12th grade salesperson deliver it to you. Please order by November 23rd, 1998. Send it into the school office. Mrs. Harvey, Mrs. Leach, Erica Maltasante, Melissa Gross, or any other class officer. Miss Fiji needs those students who worked on the alien film with Huey last year to work with him again this coming Wednesday during the school day. Will those students please see Miss Fiji as soon as possible so she can get clearance from your teachers? Weather. Today, mostly sunny, high in the 50s. Tuesday, partly sunny, windy, high in the 40s to 50s. Wednesday, fair, highs 30s to 40s. Thursday, rain is likely, highs in the 30s to 40s again. Friday, there's a chance of rain, highs in the 40s. There will be an interact meet on Wednesday, November 25th during Friday's activity in room 2303. Uh, Thanksgiving basket contest. 
So far, Ms. Angwin has collected over 15 Thanksgiving baskets that will be distributed to local dialysis centers <laughs> for needy families. So far in the lead, coming through with seven baskets is Mrs. Brown's advisory, and running close with six is Shashi's advisory. Good job, everyone. BHS would be proud as we deliver over 20 baskets of food. That's BHS morning announcements. See you next time.